Okay. In this video lecture, we're going to look at um, uh, looking at how to solve uh, logarithms and exponential equations. Okay. All right. Um, so we're going to be and we'll be utilizing these again, okay, to help us solve for that equation. All right. Let's, so let's go through a few of these. Okay, so here's, right, this is what we call an exponential function, obviously because you have e to the 2x there, okay? So the goal here, right, as with any equation, okay, is to figure out, okay, what is the value x that makes both, right, that makes these equal, okay? In this case, we want to find x that makes this equal to 2, okay? So, um... So all the rules for solving equations hold true. The only difference now is that we have, um, right, we have uh, this exponential function, okay? So first thing is, the first thing to do is to isolate, right? Our goal, right, the goal is to isolate the term with E in it, okay? Right, we're gonna isolate that, okay, using the same rules that, that we've used before for solving equations, okay? So, so isolating this because this is what, right? It has X in it. So we're going to add three to both sides. So you add three to both sides, that's going to give us five, right? two plus three. Okay. And then this, okay, remember this is, this four is just acting as a coefficient, right? It's a coefficient in front of this function, okay? So it's just like having, right? If you, if we have, Let's say 5x equals to, let's say, 2. Okay, the way you would solve this, if right, you would divide both sides by 5, and that would leave you with x equals to 2 over 5. Okay, same, same principle here. Okay, you can divide both sides by 4, okay, and then therefore we, uh, we get our, uh, we, I, we've isolated e to the 2x. Okay, so let's do that. So divide both sides by 4. Okay, that's, one, so that gives us e to the 2x equals to 5 fourths, okay? Okay, so now we've got, right, we've reduced this equation down to this point, okay? And again, our goal is to solve for x. So this is where we're going to use utilize our properties, okay, from over here. Okay, so to, un remember, the goal is to, is to isolate this x. So to do that, Okay, we have to undo this e. Okay? So using, right, so we can do that using property one. Okay. We can take the natural log of both sides. Okay. So we take the natural log of this side, therefore you have to take the natural natural log of this side. That preserves the the um, that preserves this original state. Okay. So then we end up getting, we'll go up here, so we have natural log e to the 2x, that gives us 2 times x, okay, equals to natural log of 5 over 4. Okay. So now we have, right, we have something. So natural log 5 over 4, that's just a, that's just a number, okay? So we can leave that as it is. And so in this case, we can go ahead and divide both sides by 2. So we end up getting x equals 2, one half times the natural log of five over four. So that, right, so that's the same as this, okay? You can put one half in front of natural log. And, and there's your answer, okay? That is our answer in exact form, okay? Okay, exact form. And just like with any equation, okay, um, we can check the result. So let's do that. Good practice anyway. So let's do that over here. Or here, we can check a result. So we can take x and plug it back into the original and see if we indeed get two or not. Okay, so 
between four times e, okay, to two, right, e to two times, you know, one half times natural log of five over four minus three. Okay, and we want to see, does this really equal to two? Okay, well, two times one half, remember, so this is, this, this is all multiplication. So this, right, when you can simplify this, this becomes four times e to the natural log of five over four. Okay. All right. Okay, so now, what can we do here? Well, the nat, so remember e to the natural log five fourths, that becomes, right, that's gonna give you five fourths here, okay? So we're gonna get, so this will become four, okay, times all this, times this will be five fourths. And then minus three. And so we get, right, we're gonna, these cancel out, that leaves you with five. So we get five minus three equals two. And therefore, yes, this is true. Five minus three is equal to two. So with the, so with these problems, you can, you can check your work. That's a very, Sometimes it's a very rare thing to do in math is it's able to check your result. Okay. All right, so that's, uh, so again, right? So for an exponential function, right? For exp in this case, exponential equation, right? You wanna isolate, try to you first use, right? The goal is to uh, using your algebra, right? Uh, you wanna isolate e to the two x, and then you wanna use the properties that were stated over here. Okay, in this case, we can take natural log to undo this, to give us 2x, okay? So we have 2x, and then we can isolate x by dividing both sides by 2, okay? And there's our exact solution, okay? All right, let's look at another one. So let's say we're going to solve for this okay, 2 times 3 to the power of it's 3 to, to, the, to the expression, right, to the power 2t minus 5. Okay, so looking at this, again, what we want to do is we want to isolate this part. So we have an exponential here, okay? So um, in this case, the base is three. So we would, right? So the goal, okay, the goal is we need to isolate this part first. Okay, so we can do that. First, you move, you move the four over, right? In other words, we add four to both sides. Eleven plus four, we know is going to give us fifteen, okay. and then we can divide both sides by two. Okay, so again, using the same rules of algebra that we used before for solving, you know, for solving the. Um, um, so for solving equations, right? So now we have this, okay? All right, so we need to somehow, um, we need to somehow rewrite this, all right, in order to solve for T, okay? So the, one of the ways we can do that is to go back and utilize um, this formula here, okay? okay. Uh, the one here, sorry, this one. Okay, so number six. So number six says that if you have log of this b to the power of y of base b, then this is, is can be some this is just going to be whatever this is, in this case y. Okay. So we can um, we can kind of we can 
utilize this by taking the log of of base, log of base three on both sides. Okay, so this is the same as writing log base three of all this. You see that? So, so now by using log base three, I now have this, this, right? These are the same. So that this now becomes two T minus five. So, but the thing is, if we do that for one side, we have to do it for the other side, right? Think of it as a balance. Okay. All right, and okay, there's our equation, okay? All right, and so we know, okay, again, based on, okay, using, right, uh, using number six, okay? This is going to give us, right, this is gonna be equal to two T minus five. And this is just gonna be log base three of 15 over two. So this is right. This is just some number, right? Okay. So from here, right, all we need to do now is solve for t. Okay. Um, so we're going to add, right? We're going to add five to both sides and then divide both sides by two. Okay? So I'll go ahead and write this up here. Okay. So we're going to get two t equals to five plus log base three of 15 over two. Okay. And now all we have to do is divide both sides by two to isolate T. Keep in mind that that expression is the same thing as writing it this way. We can right, we can take and write as one half times five plus log base three of 15 over two, okay? So I'll just put or there to emphasize that uh, both of those are, are, are fine, okay? Okay, so again, okay, we, so you isolate, okay, you isolate this term, right? We have three being the base here. We add four, divide both sides by two, okay? And then we're using property number six. So we know this is base three, so therefore we wanna use log base three. So you do that on both sides of the equation, okay? And then from there we get, so, uh, then from there, we use the regular rules of algebra, right? To, okay, to solve for it. This is, again, this is just a number and we can easily solve for T. So add five, right? Add five to both sides, okay? And then divide both sides by two. And there is, so there's the, um, there's the solution, the exact solution for this, for this equation, okay? And I will leave it up to you to, um, to check this result, right? So you can take this expression, plug it into T, and then simplify this, and you should be able to get 11, okay? All right, so there is a okay, so there is an alternate way to solve this problem. Okay. So let's say in case, you know, in case you forget this property, well, uh, there is, like I said, there is another way to solve that. So um, so let's let's do that. Okay. 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 Right. So alternately. But 
in any case, we still have to isolate that term, right? And so you should always do that in the beginning. Isolate the one, right? In this case, for the exponential. We have the exponential function here, right? So move the four over, right? Just like last time, and then divide both sides by two. So, so we have three to the two T minus five equals to 15 Fs. Okay. So we have, we, right? We started off with that. With that, uh, with that equation um, before, okay? So we're just using, again, going through an alternate method. So what we can do here is uh, we can go ahead and take the log of both sides. Okay, so using uh, using property five, we can right, that allows us right, we can bring down the y in front of the log, so we can do that here. Okay. Using number five, okay, we can bring this right in front, this part right here. Okay, two t minus five times log of three. And I'll go ahead, I'll just write it this way. Equals to log of 15 over two. Okay, okay so um, let's go ahead and again, the goal is to figure out T. Let's go ahead and distribute uh, the log Log, log three. So we have two times T. So two times T log three minus five log three. And then we have the right hand side. Okay, so I would, again, so just think of this. Again, this is just some number, right? So we're distributing here, distribution property, okay? All right, and then so this term has this term has the t right has the variable in it. So we want to isolate this. So we can move this one over. So okay. So we're going to get two times t log three. And again, remember this. So this is acting as a coefficient, right? So you have two and log three. So it doesn't matter how you arrange this. It's all same, same right? It's all it's being multiplied. And then we have equals to log. 5 over 12 plus 5 log 3. Okay. And that looks, let me move this. I'll move this over here because it looks a little blurry there. That looks better. Okay. Okay. Again, what I did here is we isolate this, right? So just add, right? Um, add both sides of this. So we get log of five over twelve plus five times log three. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. So now what we can do is we remember. So we need to solve for t. So we're gonna. So we divide both sides by two times log three, okay? And just kind of emphasize this here. This is, right, um, this is the same as, so this is the same as, okay? You have two, okay? So two T times log three, okay? So we can't, so one thing I wanna stress here is that we can't, you can't move, you can't mess with this argument, okay? You can't move this around. You can't take three out, okay? So you can't say six times T times log whatever, okay? So you can't, you, so this is acting as a number here, okay? T is, and T is the variable that we're trying to solve for, okay? So we can, what we're going to do is divide both sides by, um, right, uh, by, 
2 times log 3. Okay, So you can write like this. Okay, so if you want to, so we can emphasize that. Okay, so that's what we have, right? We have two times log three times T. So that, that's your number here. Okay, so we divide both sides, okay? Like that. Okay. So remember the last, so, so we're trying to, so this is using our alternate methods. So we should be able to get the same answer. Um, so in fact, um, the answer that we got last time, it was, let's write that here. This was the answer that we got last time. It was T equals to one half. Times log. So that's the answer we should get. So we should be able to get the same form. So we can do that, but we have to be a little bit cool. You know, we have to play around with these with the properties a little bit. Okay. Um, okay. So we have we definitely have the one half there. Okay. Right, we have the one half. Okay. Um, okay. Okay, so there's the one half. Okay, we have log. Okay, so we have log of fifteen over two, and then we have five times log of three. But if you notice in here, we end, we have a log fifteen over two at base three. Okay. Um, okay. So what they did, okay, um, is basic. Or what you can do here is you can basically split up, take these, each of these, and divide by this one. Okay, and that's that's an algebra. So we have t equals two, one half. We have log 15 over two divided by log three, okay? And I, I'll go ahead and just put this in parentheses, it's fine. And then we have five times log three, divide by log three. Okay, look at that. So now, so right here, okay, we can use the change of base formula. See that? So we have log X over log B, that's the same thing as writing log, right? We can consolidate that. So it's log of this with base B. So this becomes log base three of 15 over two. And that's that's what we need, okay? okay? And again, I have the parentheses there. If you wanna leave it there, it, it's up to you. It's the same, okay? And then log, and then you have log three cancels out here. So that's gonna be plus five. And that is the result. That, that's the same result that we got using the uh, first technique. Okay, so sometimes, yeah, so using this one, yeah, so um, sometimes when you're using alternate method, sometimes it works out that there's a little bit more algebra involved, right? Um, so it just, so sometimes there's a little bit more work involved to simplify the answer. Just all depends on the, on the equation given. All right. Okay, let's look at another one.
Okay. So we have e to the two x. Okay, we want to solve for x. So we have e to the power two x minus three to the minus three e to the x minus two equals zero. By the way, um, just kind of as a re as a refresher. Uh, what is it that we're actually looking for here? Well, remember this, if this is your function of x and we're setting it equal to zero, so technically, right, we're solving for the, the roots of this function, right? Okay, the, right? We're looking for the roots, right? Let's call the, right, we call those x-intercepts, okay? All right, so we need to figure out what that is. What is, what is the x value here? All right. So this is quite an this is an interesting uh, problem. Okay? Uh, if you take a close look at it, it kind of resembles, right? If you if you look closely, right, you have power two here, right, and then you have this one e to the x, and you have constant. If you think about it, this kind of looks like, kind of resembles a little bit like a quadratic function. Although this is again, this is not a quadratic, right, but it resembles it. Okay. Um, so in fact, what we can do is we can basically transform this into a quadratic form and then solve that and then, right, um, and then solve for x. So let's do that, okay? Okay, so this, I'm gonna call it y and you can use whatever letter you want. So let's say let, let y be equal to e to the x. Now, when we square, right, if you notice, right, if you take and square this, if you say e to the x, right, to the power 2, okay, this is the same as e, right, to the 2 times x, okay? And look what we got, right? That's e to the 2x. So this, right, so taking the square, so just taking the square of e to the x, right, we get e to the 2x. And then we're letting y be that. So we have, right, so, so we could rewrite this way, okay? We can have e to the x to the power two minus three e to the x minus two. And so by letting y be equal to e to the x, then we have a, we have a quadratic in terms of y, okay? Okay. All right, so let's do that here. So we have y squared minus 3y minus 2. Okay. So we have a quadratic in disguise. So this kind of this, this kind of technique in math, it, it, it shows up quite a bit actually, um, where you're, you, you're, you're letting, you're using another letter, right, to represent um, that function. And then by doing that, you end up with, um, you end up with this equation, okay? So this is kind of, so we say this is a quadratic in disguise, okay? All right, um, very, very common thing to see. In fact, for, for those that are going into trigonometry, you will see this kind of approach uh, being used for uh, trig equations, okay? All right, so now, right, the, the idea is that we solve, right? We can solve for y here, and then once we solve for y, then we can use we can use this, okay? We can use this to solve for for x because we want to solve want to right we want to solve for the original variable. Okay. All right. And okay. All right. And is my sorry. This should be plus two. Otherwise, it's to make this work out the way it wanted to. So in my in my right, that should be plus two. So plus two is plus two. Right. All right. So okay. So this. Um, so now we have to factor this. So if you want to use right, if you want to use the quadratic equation, or if you want to um, uh, if you want to factor this. Um, then you can, right? So it turns out that this is factorable. So we're going to get 
y minus 2 times y minus 1. Okay, and then, right, so you get two factors of 2, right? So two factors of 2 that give you minus 3. That's going to be negative 2 and negative 1. When you multiply minus 2 times negative 1, that gives you positive 2. When you sum those, negative 2 minus 1 is minus 3. So this is the factorization we want to use. So we set each factor equal to 0. And so therefore, we get y equals 2, and then from here we get y equals 1. Okay, so at this point, we're not, we're not done with the problem. Remember, we have to solve for, uh, we have to solve for x, right? So we go back, go back to this form, right? And then solve for x. So remember, y is equal to e to the x, okay? So for y equals 2, we have e to the x equals to 2, okay? So, you, so we substitute 2 into there. Now we solve for x. So how do you solve for x? Well, you go back to this, right? Natural log e to the x is just x. So you use natural log to, uh, to, to simplify this. Okay, wasn't okay. So, all right. So natural log, take natural log of both sides. That's going to be natural log e to the x is going to be x, and therefore we get x equals to natural log of two. Okay. okay. All right, so now we have to do the same thing for y equals 1. So we let y be equals to 1, so we have e to the x equals to 1, okay? And then we, again, solve for x, you take the natural log on both sides. Natural log e to the x, again, that is, that's going to give us x. Natural log 1 is 0. Okay. Okay. So it turns out, um, there, there's your, um, this, we have two solutions for this. Okay. So if we put in, right, we can check. Okay. If we, we put in 0, we get e to the 0, minus 3 e to 0, so we get 1, minus 3, right? E, so remember, e to the 0 is 1. So you get e to 0, 1 minus 3, so that's negative 2. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. If we put in natural log 2, so 2 times natural log 2, okay? So let's check that. That's, that's a little more difficult. So we can check the solution. So we have e 2 times natural log 2, okay? Minus 3 times natural log of 2 plus 2. So does that equal to zero? Fix that here. Okay, so we have this, okay? Um, so we can check, right? So this is going to be, let's see here. So that's going to be, again, using our properties. This is natural log 2 squared. Okay, we can put 2 in the power here, minus 3 times e to the power of natural log 2 plus 2. And so e, this is 4, so e to the natural log of 4 is just 4. And then we have, this is going to be e to the natural log 2, that is just 2. Okay. And we end up getting Okay, four minus six plus two. And we get four minus six is negative two, negative two plus two is zero. So it works out, okay? So we have, right, so we have x equals zero, okay, and x equals to natural log two, okay? So two solutions. 
Okay. Okay. So again, when you see something like this, something in this form, you have e to the x and e to the two x. This is the approach you would need to take. You you pick a variable. What if you want you know, y or whatever letter? You rewrite that in terms of in terms of this right, in, in this form. And then you can use quadratic formula, or in this case, this is factorable. I'm going to have to factor this. And then um, you have to solve it back in terms of x, just as we did here. Okay? Okay, let's look at another one. So I'll try to go over... Um, Try to go over different variety here. So we have, see, log of, see, that's 5x minus 1. The log of, so log base 3 of 5x minus 1 equals to log of x plus 7 base 3. Okay. So we want to figure out, okay, what is the x? What 5x will make these equal to each other? So that is, so what we can do, we can utilize this number 9. They have, so saying that if the outputs, so if the outputs are the same, okay, that means that this must be the truth. This must be, uh, these must be equal to each other, okay? In fact, this is, um, if you remember, we talked of, this is utilizing um, the fact that log function is a one-to-one -one function, okay? If you remember when we, when we talked about, um, we, when we talked about one-to-one, uh, -one, uh, we took, Took the two phone, we took the expression and equate them to each other with different inputs. But because log, we know that log is one to we know that log is one to one. So therefore, if these two are equal, then these two must be okay, these two arguments. Okay. So we can utilize that here. Okay. So we so so you can do that as long as as long as the same base, right? So so base three and base three. So we basically look here, right? Look at this one. And we set those equal to each other. Okay. Right? And so it's it's pretty simple in this case, right? Now we can easily solve for x. So we subtract x from both sides, so you're gonna end up getting 4x. Okay, minus one equals to seven, and then we can add one to both sides. Divide both sides by four, and so we end up getting two here. And if we, we can check our solution. We get log, so uh, 10 minus 1 is 9, so log of, so log base 3 of 9, and that's going to be equal to log of 9 base 3. By the way, what is, right, so what is log 9 base 3? Well, it turns out to be 2, okay? The reason is, right, because 3 to the power 2 is equal to 9, okay? So, so that is right, so two right so this is equal to two right, and again the reason is because right 
If you take three to the power two, that's going to give you nine. Okay. And so you get, so two equals to two here. Okay. All right. Okay, so again, so it works. Okay, this being, and this being our solution. Let's do this next one. Okay, so we have five plus two times natural log x equals to four. And again, I want to stress here that this two is a coefficient for natural log x. Okay, so so natural log x that is a that's a function. Okay, so you can't you know you can't mess with this. Right? You can't mess with this argument. Okay, you can't mess with the argument for natural log. Okay, so you can't like you can't move right. You just can't you can't move that x around. Okay. So this is, you have two, two is their coefficient for that function, okay? So when solving these, right, if you have something like this, you want to isolate, right? The goal is to isolate the term with X in it. So we need to isolate that. And then we can use the properties over here to, to help us solve for X. Okay, so we're gonna have two times natural X equals to so we're going to subtract five from both sides, and we end up, we end up getting negative one, four minus five, right? Okay. Um, and then we need to divide both sides by two. So we have natural log x equals two minus one half. So, okay. Now, this is where we can use this number two, right? We're going to apply number two here. To isolate x. Right, we can take e, right, e of both sides. So e to the natural log x. So if we take, so if we take e of this side, then I have to take e of the other side. So this is going to give us, right, number two. Right, this is going to give us x, and this is going to be e equal to e to the negative one half, which, by the way, is the same thing as one over e to the one half, right? You can put this in the denominator, so that changes the sign. And furthermore, this is equal to one over root e, okay? So let's, let's check this result. So we have natural log of one over root e. Okay, so that is okay. this is the same as okay. We know this is this is the same as e to the negative one half. Okay. So we get a five plus. Okay, this part right here. So natural log e to the negative one half. That is just negative one half. So you're gonna get two times negative one half equals to four. Okay, so we get two times negative one half. We know that it's negative one. So we get five minus one and that's equal to four, which is good. Okay. All right.
Okay, let's look at another one. Okay, so we have two times log of three X base five equals to four. Okay, so again, we want to, we want to isolate this part, right? That has X in it. Okay, so we can do that um, just by dividing both sides by two. Okay, so four divided by two is two. Okay, um, all right. So now we can, okay, we can use uh, this property, okay, number seven, okay, because we have uh, with b equals five. Okay, so by so if we take five raised to this, right, that's going to give us just three x, and then we have equal to five to this power. Okay, so using number seven. And I'll put parentheses here just to just to highlight the argument of the log. Okay, so the reason we again, so why are we using five? Well, because well, our base we're given but five in the in the original problem, right? For our base, so we take five, take five and raise to take five and raise it to this. If we do it for that side, then we have to do it for this side as well. Okay, and then. And the reason, and then the, the, so the whole motivation for doing that is because we know if these are the same base, then this is just going to give us back whatever this is, right? So, uh, so these are the same, right? And so that's going to, because these are equal, then this whole thing is going to give us back 3x. Okay, and five squared we know is 25. So therefore, we can solve for x, right? So this is going to be 25 over 3, 25 thirds. Okay. So let's, again, let's check this. Let's, sorry, let's check this result. So we have 2 times log base 5 of 3 times 25 thirds. Okay, so we get so we get two times log five, log base five of twenty five. Okay, so is this equal? Okay. Well, okay, so log so this okay, so this part right here. Okay, log twenty five base five. Okay, let's go to the side. So this, uh, this means what five to whatever, right? Five to what power makes this 25? Well, that has to be, right? Two, right? So five to the power two is 25. Therefore, right? So we get two, all this is right here, two. And so that's equal to four. So that works, okay? Okay. Um, so we could, yeah, we can do this problem in we can do this problem in a, uh, using an alternate method. So a lot of these so, so in a lot of these problems, um, just like we saw earlier, a lot of these can be solved in maybe in more than one way. Okay, so just keep that in mind. And so that's what I so I'm going to illustrate that here. So we can use a different approach to come up with x. Okay, but in, in any case, um, uh, we still need to isolate that. Okay. Isolate uh, this log part. Okay. So we have log base 5, 3x equals 2, 2. 
So that's what we had before. Okay. All right. So using uh, so we can use the exponential rule, which is this one. So it's using number eight. So using number eight, okay, so you have the log form and the exponential form. So this just, right? Um, in fact, we did that here, okay, right? So this is just using the exponential rule, exponential rule. So five to this power is equal to this. So B to the Y, right? So B to the Y is equal to the argument of log. So this, right? So this is equivalent to three times X equals to five squared, right? Okay, so five to the power two, okay? So that's what we have here, okay? B, so the base raised to this, so base raised to this one equals to this. So three X is equal to five squared, okay? So this, okay, this gives us three X equals to 25. And we know that we can solve for X now. So this is gonna be 25 thirds, okay? So yeah, this is, uh, it seems easier, but then you have to remember, right? You have to remember this rule, which, uh, which you should, you should, you should memorize this. Okay. Right. Okay. Or recognize what to do. Okay. When you have these forms. Okay, uh, next problem. So let's say we have natural log of x minus 2 plus natural log of 2x minus 3 equals to 2 times natural log x. Okay, I want to kind of point out something here. Um, that even sometimes I see calculus one students do this. Okay, so, so you cannot, okay, so this is, you cannot do this. In fact, I'm gonna write this in red. So, let's see. so you can't just take E, right? So, you can't just take E of each term, okay? So this is a big no-no, right? You, you can't do this, right? You can't just take E of each one is, okay? So, right, so do, right, do not, or do not, okay? So or not true, I should say. Do not do this or not true, okay? Going from here, from here to here, okay? It's not, okay, can't do that, okay? So, so don't do that, all right? <laughs> So what do we do? All right, so don't do this. So what we can do is that we can go back and utilize these formulas, okay, right? So we can take this and consolidate, okay? So we have so we have addition here, so we can consolidate under under the natural log, and then and then we can take e of both sides, okay? So again, I really want to stress that you should not be right. This, do not do this, okay? Big no no. Okay, so here's what to do. So, okay, so we can consolidate this part. Okay, okay so we're going to get, okay, there's a plus there. So, this means that we have not to log of, I'm going to put a bracket here. So, we have x minus 2 times 2x minus 3. all equal to two times natural log of x, okay? Okay. And so let's, okay. So now um, if we, so if we can get the natural log, if we can get both in the natural log something on both sides, then we can take E of both sides. In that case, then that works. So this, so let's rewrite this part.
So this going from here to here, that's using property number five. So we have this form and we're bringing the Y up here. Okay, so that's number five. Okay. So now look what we have. We have a natural log of something equals to natural log. So we can use, right? So what we can do is we can, um, we can basically think about this as just taking the, taking E of both sides, right? Okay. Or you can kind of, or you can use this approach, right? You have, in this case, we have, this is, remember natural log is just log base E. So, so we have the, we have that this, right? If we want to find the X value that makes this equal to this, then we can just look at, we can take this part and set it equal to this, okay? So essentially what we're doing here now, is, right? You're taking um, E, right? So to get that, you're basically taking E of both sides. So E, so E to the natural log of this. So that, so th we can do this now, okay? So you can take E of both sides, okay? Uh, because you have natural log on this side, natural log on this side, okay? So you can't, so that's different from what we had here. This one because you have a plus here. So you can't take E uh, like in that way, in that sense. Okay, so this, right, E to the natural log of this is gonna give us, okay? That's gonna give us, let's see, let's go up here. X minus two times two X minus three equals to x squared. So that was one of the reasons, that's, that's the reason why we can, or why we wanted to um, make sure that we consolidate this, but so that we put the two there so that we can, uh, we can work with these arguments, okay? So now we have this, okay? And that becomes standard algebra problem. All right, so we multiply everything out here, okay? So this is gonna be two x squared. So x times 2x, 2x squared. Then we have minus 3x, so x times negative 3. Uh, minus 2 times 2x is going to give us minus 4x. And then we have negative 2 times negative 3, which gives us positive 6. And then we have equals x squared. So this is going to give us 2x squared. Okay. Um, I'll go ahead and move the x squared over. And then we have minus 7x plus six equals to zero. And this is gonna give us X squared, okay? So all I'm doing here is just remember, so you, you have this, multiply everything out, and then set everything equal to zero, okay? There. Okay, so this turns out to be factorable. We're going to get x minus 6 times x minus 1. So negative 6 times negative 1, that's positive 6. At the same time, when you take the sum of these, minus 6 minus 1, that gives you negative 7. So therefore, we get x equals to 6 or x equals to 1. So when you're doing something like this, especially when you get a quadratic form, okay, you should, in this case, you should always make sure that your solutions are in the are in the domain, okay? Okay, because it turns out that one of those is correct, one of those, either six or one. And so we can, so to figure out which one, okay, we have to look, we have to go back and look at what's going on with this equation, okay? So let's take a look at x equals six. Okay, so I'm gonna erase this. Let's see. So in fact, no, I'll just leave that there. So if we look at, so if we look at x equals six, okay, you put six in here, okay? So let's check, right? So you're gonna get natural log of, so we get natural log of four, okay? Plus natural log of, this is gonna give us 12, and then we get natural log of, right? So six, 12, nine. Okay. 
Okay. All right, so again, so we put in six into there, and then we get uh, natural log of four, and then in here, okay, you're gonna get 12, 12 minus three, it's gonna give you natural log nine. Okay? And then we have equals to this, okay? All right. Okay, so, um, so basically, right, this is gonna give us, so this is the same. In fact, this, this will work, okay? So, so the point is that this six will work, okay? So we have natural log two squared, and this is gonna be natural log of three squared. And we wanna show that this is equal to two times natural log six. All right, so this is gonna give us two times natural log two, plus two times natural log three, okay? And check this out. So we can factor out the two, and I hope this is showing up on the screen. Oh, yeah, it's a little bit running out of space there. Uh, let me move it over here a little bit. Oh, too much. Okay, I think, yeah. Okay, so again, what I'm doing here is I'm plugging six back into here and just making sure that this solution works, okay? So we can factor, so, okay, so we get to this, natural log four can be written as natural log two to the power two. This is just natural log three to the power two. And then we can bring the two in front and the two in front of this one. So we have two, we can factor that out. So that leaves us with natural log of two plus natural log of three. And so we're trying to figure out, does this equal to this? Well, look, okay, so we have two, okay. Um, going back here, we have addition, okay? So we can combine this, right? So we can consolidate this natural log. So this becomes natural log of two times three, okay? And so that is definitely gonna give us this result. So we have two times natural log of six, which equals to this. Okay, so it works, okay? So that is a, so x equals six is a, is a solution, okay? So let's look at one, okay? So we know this is, we know this is a solution. So looking at one, if you try to do the same thing, if you plug in one, look what happens. You put in here, you get natural log of negative one. And then, and then likewise, you get um, natural log of two minus three, which gives you natural log of negative one. So remember that the plot, right? Remember the domain of natural log, right? The domain of natural log is x strictly bigger or equal, sorry, x bigger than, strictly bigger than zero, okay? So, all right. So because you put one in here, you're getting a, you're getting natural log of a negative number. Okay, so let's, okay, so we have like from here, right? So we have natural log of, this gives us natural log of minus one. This is not a real number, okay? So, Okay, so it's so the point is that one, okay, um, one is not, it's not in the domain of of this function, okay, right, okay, right. So natural log, right? This is not in it, right? So gives us something not a real number. So therefore, x equals one is um, it's it's not a it's not a solution, okay, all right. So we only get one solution here, and that is six, okay? Okay. And sometimes we call this, sometimes they call this an extraneous value, okay? You, you'll see in the, in, the, in the textbook, they refer to this as an extraneous value, okay? Which means it's, it's not, right? Even though you end up getting Right, even though it ends up, you end up getting a value here. It's not a solution for the original equation, okay? So just be careful of those, okay? So that's why it's always a good idea, especially, 
when you taking the natural log of both sides and you end up with a quadratic, you end up with two solutions, always a good idea to make sure that, to make sure your solutions are in the domain of the, uh, of, of, you know, of the, uh, of the functions that are involved with the equation. Okay. All right. So that concludes um, this section on solving uh, solving exponential slash logarithmic equations. Okay. So, like with anything in math, it you know it requires practice. Okay. So make sure you know you do those problems in the um, that are assigned in the in the textbook. Okay. All right. And uh, I'll see y'all. So I'll see you all later, okay? Um, if you have any questions, okay, uh, just, uh, just feel free to send me an email.